Hi, Dan. I'm your uh, general home inspector, and we're just going to walk through a couple of details. It's a fantastic house. Uh, the contractors here with me, I pointed out those things that need to be fixed or changed. So we're just going to walk through a couple of things. Not going to walk through everything. There will be a report. First of all, just let's go in the master bathroom. Diane, right here, next to the left of the drain, there's a little bit improper slope in the tile, and it tends to pond right there where my light is. There's a little bit of area that's not going to drain properly, and we've already noted that and talked to the, um, the contractor here, Manny, was a great guy. Um, your fireplace screen, we're going to have that inspected. It all looks good to me, the fireplace. The outside does have a vertical crack in it that we want to have a, a guy take a look at in his evaluation. It has a rain cap on there. You need to put a front screen on here that actually connects and not just a freestanding screen. A lot of people will put freestanding screens on here and they could be pulled or tipped over by a youngster and we want to actually have it uh, securely attached there. So if you buy a screen, keep that in mind. If, you, if you're not going to have any kids in here or yourself, you're okay. Gas works and everything. It is uh, set up uh, for gas and or wood. All the windows look good in here. This is the master we're standing in right now. I didn't see really any problems. In the little details, I'll note in the report. And uh, you can take a look at those. Let's walk in through the other rooms. This is the hall bathroom, man. A little bit, uh, when you put in a tub and stuff, the grout around the outside will settle a little bit and crack. Not a big deal, I just said just repair it. Just where the tub sits, where the tile meets the tub. And when you put, because you've got a shower head here, I wouldn't so much run a curtain as I would run some glass doors. Have somebody come in and install some glass doors for you. You can put a, shirt, uh, a curtain rod in here, but it would probably be better if you do and then seal it so whoever takes a shower here doesn't splash out and get on your, your drywall. Everything else looks good in here. If there's any details, we'll note it. Everything will be kind of noted as we walk through, this is the left front bedroom. Everything looks great in here. You got the dual pane, vinyl glass windows, and there are actually, these are the airport type windows to cut down the noise reduction out here. A little bit of dent in the frame here. It's a cosmetic thing I took a picture of. You can just take a quick look at it. Uh, it's nothing big, just the insulation right here was installed and just dented the frame. There's probably nothing you can do about that. It's just a little cosmetic thing. It has nothing to do with any kind of uh, integrity of that window frame. Bedrooms all look good. You all have smoke and or carbon monoxide detectors. Your heating unit is in the attic. I'm gonna stop for a second and talk about your attic. We're, we're standing in the hallway between the uh, center bedroom, hall bath, and right above us is the attic hatch. Now the attic, it has blown in insulation called rock wool. And right just above us to the left would be your heating unit, which is a two, 2015. Both your water heater and heating units are brand new. Insulation looks great. Uh, it's a big unit, it's a 100,000 BTU. And what that means is gonna heat the house very well. Uh, the back attic space towards your master bedroom over that and going backwards towards your living room slash rear bedroom, I can't access that uh, because of equipment, low framing, uh, the potential of me falling through something and or damaging your building. Uh, there is no access has for the back. A small guy can get back there, it's a struggle. We do not do that as inspectors unless we have clear access to it. So I didn't see any indications of anything wrong with that. Uh, the contractor's here, he knows that that's the only access to it. Uh, let's, let's go here, kitchen. Kitchen looks great. Uh, ran all the appliances, your, your uh, dishwasher, uh, your gas uh, and gas oven, both, everything works okay, so we ran that. So those are both gas operated. Uh, your venting and everything looks good. You have the proper venting up, so everything looks good here. I looked underneath your, your dishwasher and when I ran them, and also your refrigerator, so there's any lakes, nothing. Moment to talk about your plumbing real quick. 
You have ABS plastic drain lines underneath your house, which is good. Looks like they've all been replaced. And your water lines, what they call a plastic, is called PEX. PEX and copper, it's a combination. Great stuff. The only thing underneath the house that needs to be attended to is, we're gonna go over here to your, your laundry room. Down here at the bottom where the where the your exhaust for your laundry goes down, it it is a flexible uh, pipe down there, which is supposed to be straight wall pipe. And I told the contractor about that. Going all the way out, it's just supposed to be straight wall. It's not rated for underneath the the, uh, the house using that. Just in case something breaks and you get lint underneath there, you always want straight wall and connected real tight. The only ventilation for this laundry room is this window, so you have to run these windows open. I put ample ventilation for your laundry room if you have the window open or this door open. So if you're doing the laundry, always keep your window open, that way your gas, gas appliances can breathe. Okay, so it does have ventilation and everything. This window is a little bit sticky. They're all latched and everything. They just kind of rock back and forth a little bit, uh, but they're fine. Uh, so keep the window open when you're doing your, your laundry clothes. You want to make note of that. Um, everything else looks good in here in the kitchen. Uh, rear room, or what I put is actually is a bedroom, because it's got a door that closes off. And also, it does have a closet. This is the part of your house, it's a concrete slab. As we step down into it, it's a... It's a uh, Josh right now who's taking this, he's, stand, he's sitting on the raised foundation area and this is actually concrete slab. Everything looks good here. Um, we'll walk around on the outside here in just a second. But uh, all your windows look good. I ran all your outside lighting, looks good. Your electrical panel on your outside, just outside this room is a 200 amp. And whoever did it was just, uh, it's a masterpiece. Looks great inside. They're all labeled, all in your bedrooms too. Or what they call arc fault uh, protectors in there. They have to be in the bedrooms when you remodel now. When they replace the panel, they put all those in there. All places where uh, GFIs at the sinks, any place where you're within three feet of a sink area, you want a GFI protected, so for shocks. So that all looks good. I tested every window, everything. The only windows that were a little bit rocky were in the, like I said, in the laundry room. They rock back and forth. That's just a, uh, maybe we could just put something in there and uh, so they slide a little bit easier. Otherwise, all the windows, everything looks great. You wanna go on the outside real quick? Let's, let's go out here. Your deck area here is wood deck. Just always remember this, wood decks do not last forever, so the upkeep on this is very important. All the top wood is just natural wood and we wanna make sure we, we always put, keep this very nice and, uh, and always sealed. It's very important. Right here, this type of wood is in contact with the soil. So I was just talking to the contractor or the uh, general contractor here. You always want this stuff to be pressure treated wood. Anytime you're in contact with soil, there's a potential to rot out in these areas. So we were just talking about that. It's wood in contact with the soil. So everything else looks good. Right over here is how you get underneath your house. This is important here. This is how you crawl underneath your house. This is how I accessed it. Great. Everything looks good here. All your, your spigots have anti-siphon devices, so if your hoses are laying in some kind of water, they don't go back into your house. We'll come over here. You'll see your block wall. I want us to take a moment to, to show you this. Your block wall, there's movement in it a little bit. It, we, so we had, had a little bit of cracking and movement here. I just put further evaluation. Uh, it's leaning just a little bit towards this side. Uh, it, I see it normally on these block walls. We've, your, your yard is actually higher than the neighbors, sitting up a little bit. So it's just moving a little bit from, from pressure. So I just put further evaluation. And there's a couple of cracks and top caps missing off the top and the back. Uh, they just have to be resecured and mortared down. Uh, other than that, it looks real good. Let's, let's walk this way first. I'm going to make a comment too on drainage. You can't have enough drainage in your house. So in areas of the house, you, you, you might want to think about it. It doesn't have to be done, but just recommend an upgrade if you improve by putting drains in areas so when the water doesn't sit in areas. This, this back, for the back room, the siding, wood siding, it needs to have a clearance here like this. The soil's been put down too high and will have tendency to rot out this wood. 
and that's also been mentioned in the report and to the, the contractor. These are real simple fixes. It's a great house. We've got to stop for a second and just say it's a great house. Uh, the guy who put this together did a fantastic job. Also on these windows, these are retrofit type windows and the sealant's got to be kept up on these at time. Just to make sure these are all sealed. Every seven years or so, we'll just have to refresh those. Left side of your house, same thing. A little bit of cracking from trees and stuff pressed on your block walls. Not, not any issues really going on here. Uh, as you can see around here, this is where the top caps are missing over in this area here. We don't want those falling off or, or maybe hurting somebody. The tree's putting a little bit of pressure on this. Uh, there's, the, the fencing actually looks real good. It's just that area over there is just a little bit from the, from, the, from the pressure of the grass. We put too much, it's got hydrostatic pressures. When you, ha when you soak down this, it moves the wall a little bit. So there's not much you can do about it. Just have a, a block wall guy take a look at it, a masonry guy, and see what he says on that. Let's look at the water heater real quick. Your water here is just outside your garage door over here. Everything looks really good. This is a work of art too. Whoever did this did a really great job. You, it's very rarely seen that you see something in this nice of feature. Garage. Looks great. Here's your garage door opener over here. It's a lift master, which is a, it's a high end garage door opener. Everything looks good in here, framing everything. This light right here is missing a bulb. This is when you turn on your garage door opener. We just need to install a bulb. Uh, a lot of guys will put it out there and just forget to put the bulb in there. A little bit of cracking at the foundation right here. This is normal. When concrete dries, it'll crack a little bit. If it doesn't go more than an eighth to a quarter of an inch, there's really no concern about it. It's all protected in here by GFI. Everything looks really good. Uh, I think we're in a really fine shape in here. So, no real big problems. A little bit of a crack here in one of the rafter beams, but they but they called they sistered it. They put some board up there to, uh, to support it. So it's been resupported in that area. So you can see that. It just had a little bit of a crack to it. Otherwise, everything looks good. Um, foundation looks great. Some hairline cracks in there, that is very normal. It's a grade A foundation. And everything else underneath there looks good. Uh, I can't think of anything else to, to tell you. Thank you.